it's Monday and it's the week of the Feinabook support group and Aurelium gear up. So we have quite a lot to read. And actually I just added an extra book on, <laughs> on top of this deck. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, this week I will be prioritizing um, Aurelium gear up. Because I only have to read two books for that one. And that's that, that readathon is just this week. However, the final uh, book support group has a camp edition now. So it's the first camp week. Uh, so I want to finish some series out this week. But it's the final book support group is just something, you know, we do all year round. So it hasn't a deadline, per se. Um... The first book I want to read is Me and the Robinson. Uh, the third book in the series, and the last one in the series, so for final book support group. But for Aurelium Gear Up, I needed to read a book with two S's because I want a spell book as a conduit. And this one has two S's because of the subtitle in Dutch. <laughs> so it actually has three in Dutch, so we're good for that one. Um, this this is about the fam family Robertsons and it's a family of thieves and the thieves are specialized in stealing candy and it's the, the first two books were wholeheartedly wacky adventurous I love them uh, both were five stars so I'm really looking forward to this one and this is the last in the series then for um, Aurelium Gear Up, I need to start a new series. <laughs> Which isn't smart this week, but we're going to do it. Uh, this is The Menagerie by Chu Chi and Carrie Sutherland. Um, and I'm reading this because of the guilt bonus we got. I'm the Crescent Moon ones. I'm not sure if that's the name. I'll, I'm in the one that can have familiars. Which is great. Um, and you just have to pick a familiar that you've read in a book. Um, so this book has all kind of magical creatures. So there's a lot of to choose from. And it especially has a kitsune in it, which I have my eye on. Because that one had a lot of magical abilities that were could be useful for me as a companion. Um, if I've read this and I don't like the kitsune, I might choose another one from this book. Or... I'm going to read Queenslayer by Sebastian Di Castell because then I'm going for the squirrel cat as a companion um, <laughs> because he don't want to call, be called a familiar. I can tell you that on forefront. Um, but my husband read this series and he loved it. So he's eager to see what I think about it. Uh, so this will be the second book I pick up. And after that, that I just want to close up some series. Um, and I'm not sure how much I can read, so we'll see. I want to read uh, Alice the Absinthe on Kindle, because that's the last novella in the Splintered series I need to read. So that will be hopefully a fast read and close up a series. I also would love to read the third book in the Crowns of Crosswell series, The Words of Wandering by D.E. Knight. I love this series. And... This is currently the last book in the series, but the next one is coming out in May. So it um, then I'm up to date for the new one to release. So that's great. I would love to do that one. And if I feel like I'm tight for time, but still want to finish out the series, I have volume two and I hope this is the good one, uh, number three in the series of the Harleen comics and that will there are only three in a series, so this will um, complete the series. Oh, lost for words. So that is kind of the plan right now. Of course, all things can change this week. I also have the, uh, the third book in the Wendy Spinale series. The first one was Neverland. The second one was Umberland. 
and I I'm I forgot the third name, but it's um But it's a Wizard of Oz retelling. Uh, and I have that on audio. So that that I, I'm probably gonna start that one as well this week. Um because it's easy to finish out some series on audio big if I can because I listen to them all the time. Um and as far as I know, there aren't audiobooks for this one. I didn't search for the menagerie though, so that could be be helpful if if that one is is there but um we'll see i'm not going to read right now i need i still need to add a shitload i still need to add as my evil queen vlog or snow white retelling vlog i can edit my alice retelling vlog now i need to film honestly and i need to try out some Vietnamese recipes from my favorite chef Ian Lu, which I'm really grateful I can try them. Uh, she's making a new cookbook, and I can try the recipes. Uh, and her deadline is in April, so I would really, really love to make some uh, of her dishes today. I sent them some feedback, so um, she has a little bit stressed and can chill out a bit. <laughs> I'm sorry if you hear that. My dog was playing with the painting and it didn't go well he was really scared of it moving but he did that he's not that smart sometimes um so i'm bumbling i'm going now i'll go at it and i'll we'll read later and i'll i'll tell you that <laughs> bye <laughs>
find a book in a series I could start on audio. Um, I think that was it for today. I, it, it went, I did it more in the morning and stuff. We'll see. I'm tired now. I'm going to sleep. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Hi. <laughs> it's Wednesday. So that means we didn't talk for a hot minute. <laughs> Which is... um. Tuesday, I didn't read it all. I had very much back pain and I was lying on the couch and that was it. So that's the reason we didn't talk to you. Uh, that I didn't talk to you on Tuesday. Uh, but I forgot yesterday. <laughs> I was on sprints with G and I had a great time. They were really fun and Jay was there and Cody was there. And AJ was there and it was really fun. Um, and I read almost anything of me in the Robertson's book 3. This is for my spellbook, Conduent, and it's the final book in a series. And I only have 60 pages left, and I've read Martel's yesterday. But I forgot to mention that. <laughs> so, now you know. Um, we're almost done with that one. And I also just ended um, Osland, the third and last book in the Netherlands series by Spinale. This is supposed to be um, Wizard of Oz retelling, which I think was the least prominent of the three retellings. Um, of course, it had had its uh, it. Ooh. Of course, it had its elements, but it wasn't. Um, it didn't, or I don't know the story was very well. That could be true, but um, I don't think it had many elements of the story. So, um, that was a bit unfortunate. But I still like the story, though. Um, it, it, the, the third book was the three star. Uh, I think it's my least favorite of them all. But um, I still recommend the series. Um, Me and the Robinson is also fun. Uh, but not a five star as the other two were. So, that was a bit um, a shame. But it's it's still good. I still like it. Um, so I'm just back home from work. I'm making dinner now. And Jade is still sprinting on Patreon. I don't know for how long. I think she will continue until Steph starts sprinting tonight. So we will finish me and the Robinson tonight. And I probably pick up uh, the Menagerie. Uh, as well tonight because that's the other book for William Garab that I need to read for my familiar. And if it turns out I don't like a kitchen as a familiar, I still need to read Queenslayer. So yeah, those are the plans. We're gonna eat first and then um, read a read a shitload. Hi, it's the same evening. I just realized I said Wednesday before, but it's not. It's Tuesday. <laughs> However, um, it's still the same evening. I'm just going to buy it. We did prints with Jade Patreon and Steph just on YouTube. Um, and I wanted to let you know that we that I did finish Me and the Robertsons Part Three. I did like it, but it wasn't as good as the other two. And the ending was quite disappointing. It was a very open ending. So open, I actually looked up at Google to be sure this was the final book. Because there was so much more to tell that could be addressed. Uh, what would be fun to read about. And I can't find any more books after this, so this is the last one. But I don't know, the ending feels like it was supposed to be a quartet or something like that. So a bit disappointing. Uh, both books before this were five stars. This is a three. So three is a good book. But if you assume it's a five and all the other books in the series were five, it's disappointing. So, and then I started The Menagerie by Tucci and Carrie Sutherland. And I'm only 40 pages in, but so far I'm enjoying it. I'm already intrigued, so we'll see where this goes. And this 
is for my animal familiar for the order of the crescents and unfortunately this is the first book in the series so that's a just ending one um we have work for the next final book support group in our hands so um but i'm intrigued and um after 40 pages i think this is going to be a four star but i'm not sure we will see and um i'm just going to read just a little bit and then go to bed so i'll speak to you tomorrow Friday night, it's 10 o'clock and I'm getting tired. Uh, but I wanted to let you know that I have been sprinting with Steph and Jade was there and Becca was there and Maddie was there, Chris was there, loads of fun. Um, and I have been reading The Menagerie and I'm currently around page 100 and I still like it. I'm still intrigued. We did see a bit of The Menagerie which was really fun um, and I can't wait to get all to get to know all those creatures and um, yeah really cool um i'm going to bed now i have to wear tomorrow i'll read a bit in bed but not much and then um after work i'll probably read again and i talk to you then <laughs> bye hi it's sunday half past ten and that um means for me, the week of Aurelium Gear Up and Final Book Sport is over. Um, I'm going to sleep and I'm going to bed. Um, it feels like a mwah week. It feels like I didn't accomplish anything. Which is not true, I know. But I wanted to do more. And uh, I didn't achieve the things that were the bare minimum I wanted to do so that's why I feel like it um wait a second so um first up we read Me and the Robertsons by Siri Kulu this is the third and final series final book in a series um unfortunately a bit of a disappointment the first two books were five star and this was only a three star the ending was very very open and it actually felt like there were more books to come I googled it but they're not um, we also finished Osland which was the third and final book in the Neverland trilogy by Wendy Spinale and this was also a let them and this was the it, it was still a good book but it was the least in the series I hate it when the last book is the least good the least enjoyable um so yeah i might not know the story of us good enough to recognize all the retelling aspects but to me it was uh, a bit lacking in the retelling aspects um a pair compared to the first two um i also started um Echo and the Sky Pirates Part 2 and I've almost finished it. I need two more hours to go. And I actually wanted to do the audiobook this weekend, but I forgot. So that's the reason why I didn't finish it. I could have. Um but I didn't. And I only have 80 pages left of the menagerie. So I didn't finish that either. Which is a bit sad. I still haven't seen the kids soon either. So I'm not sure if this is going to be my book for my animal familiar or not. So yeah. I, I do like it though. I really like it. I think this is going to be a four star. Um, but I'm a bit sad that I didn't finish it. But 
Um, that's also the reason why I didn't update you yesterday. Um, I got home from work and I got in, I got late. I was late from work, so I got in at seven. And it was actually when the sprints should have ended, but I did a half hour extra. So I got a half hour of reading in, but I didn't read anything more. And the plan today was um, to test some recipes for the new cookbook by Inge Loom. Um, and I actually was awake quite early today and I was full of energy and I cleaned the kitchen and I tried two recipes of Inge Loom. And then my back pain kicked in again. So I had to stop testing. I couldn't finish that. And I was full of pain. So I had to lay down. And I don't like reading while laying. I want to sit when I read. And I'm actually quite painful. So I put on the show. And then I just kept slacking. And didn't feel like it. Because I was in a mood. Because I had pain. So I just read a bit before going to bed, like an hour. And I did plan some stuff for Fida. Which we'll see if that happens. Because if I'm in a lot of pain like this, I, I, I needed to film today. And I couldn't. So this is going to be a thing. If I can't film enough this week, I'm not doing it. Because then it gives a lot of stress next month. Uh, and I don't want that. So, we'll see. But for now, I'm ending this vlog here. Um, we did get the conduit for Aurelium Gear Up. We did finish two series. So, overall, not too bad. Um, and I'll probably finish this tomorrow. <laughs> but, you know. It's fine. <laughs> um, that was totally okay by G. So. And the final book support group is an all year thing. So I will be finishing more series throughout. Um, if you like this vlog, please think about like and subscribe. If you want to see more content from me, thank you so much. That helps my channel. Mm. Thank you so much. That helps my channel grow. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.